turn the wild jack over I listen to the devil tell seven story lies cross my heart I hope to live tangled with my lover This job was done right. Um, it's very difficult when you see that the construction companies come in and are used to working where there are no people other than the workers. And for them to have to work with hundreds and thousands of us around them at all times was very difficult. And we made them consider when they were doing their plans, we need to recover things, people. We need to recover remains and property. So you might not be able to do it the way you normally would do it. Think of another way. And they always came back with another way. They reached inside themselves into their creativity as professionals and came up with a way for us to be able to do this recovery in such a safe manner. think about all the people that were out here and the debris that has been removed and the bodies that have been recovered under such precarious situations and instability of the area when you think about that to think that no one was injured seriously that there were no fatalities it's incredible and I'm very proud of what my guys did here and what I've done here and what the contractors did and the trade unions of New York they're no finer professionals than the trade unions of New York at this now, uh, I have to tell you, I feel a little bit empty. I have run through a gamut of emotions, and I looked at this the other day, and as I look at it now, this is empty. And I gotta tell you, personally, when I said that to myself, uh, it rang a bell that I felt empty. eyes down the, the emotion you don't see that out in the streets you don't get to look into somebody's eyes and see pain worn right there in their eyes because having been here and we're gonna sort of miss that almost nonverbal communication the touch on the shoulder the, the, the eye gaze the smile uh, I'm gonna miss working with such great people Thank you. Good luck at We thought we were invincible. We thought we'd never fall. 
my eyes were opened to a very different side of 9-11 than what I had experienced. I saw that our husbands and all the people killed that day were targeted for where they worked and for who they were, and that they, in fact, are the casualties of this war. And we We're about physical health. The early 2000s are going to be about mental health. And it's things like this and sharing and showing all your feelings and your emotions that will make you better. I got a call that morning from my uh, son, Jonathan, uh, Firefighter Squad 288, uh, who was working. He said, uh, Dad, turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. I uh, saw the Twin Towers, of course. Uh, I said, what happened? He said, I, a plane hit it. And uh, with that, I heard the tones in the background, which meant that uh, his company was going. It's a special company in the fire department. Uh, I said, OK, John. I said, uh, be careful. He said, OK, Dad. Uh, it was the last time I spoke to my son. It's a song called When the Hero Falls. I wrote it a long time ago. I, I was really thinking about um, people that I admire and they make mistakes. And from those things you learn how to grow. I had no idea I would sing it here for you tonight. It takes on all new meaning for me. Hello, it's me. You've been a long way from home this time The only difference now is that my hope is unbound by you, no I got here, oh, I would say maybe uh, no, half an hour after the uh, North Tower came down um, my main concern, of course, was, you know, finding my son. Cause when the heat